Hello everyone, this is Darwolf20, and welcome to episode 47 of Darwolf20's MC Eternal series, where today, I have to do my rats again. Um, rats, of course, have the same problem that most entities have, they just don't, they don't persist sometimes, and they do weird things. Um, so, I logged in today, my rats were fine, they were doing their job, uh, they were behaving themselves, and then I said, alright, cool, and I was AFK for like... 15, 20 minutes just like doing other things before I was getting ready to prep my episode. And then I went outside and all my rats were gone. Uh, my sheep shearing rat is still here. Hello, buddy. He's doing a good job. And an Enderman came by to investigate. He's like, what's this Enderman rat all about? Uh, but then uh, my rats that were doing the, um, the tree farm are just gone. All three of them, which is weird. So my initial thought is maybe they suffocated when the trees grew. Like if it's stand, if the rats are standing where the trees are and the trees grow, then they might suffocate uh, in the trees, and that could be bad. Uh, and I think we saw that happening uh, previously, right? Um, so oh, I don't know. Now let me just grab the flute real quick because don't I have a flute? I do have a flute. Follow me. Yeah, no, there's no rats nearby. So I just wanted to make sure they weren't, like, under the ground or something. So I don't know what happened to them for sure. It seems weird to me that all three would die of suffocation at the same time. It seems unlikely that they'd all be standing in a spot where a tree grew and just died. That said, it's possible. So what I did is I created... Uh, the following rat upgrade. Extra breath. Rat will not take damage from suffocation or drowning. So I think this will protect our rats from dying inside a tree if it grows, which would be ideal. Um, so of course I needed to make all new rat upgrades. So what I did is I made three combined rat upgrades. One is the warrior upgrade with extra breath. So he's going to go the go run around and kill things that get in the way. Two is a lumberjack that also has platter that also has extra breath. Remember the, the lumberjack will pick up items. So rather than having a rat who's dedicated to picking up items with ender, uh, we'll just have the lumberjack do it. Now I might throw ender on this dude just because, um, the ability to... To, 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 to teleport might be good if he gets stuck in a tree. So maybe I do want the rat upgrade ender. Uh, let's see. I should be able to pull that off pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, oh, rats. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, I need to make uh, you have this, please. Good job, little guy. You guys are the most adorable. Love me some rats. It's just Minecraft entities. It's what they are. They're just they're, they're, that's the that's the one downside with Minecraft entities is they're always just a little bit unreliable the way entities work. But hopefully we can get these guys behaving. And if not, well, you know, we might have to go with a different tree farm mechanic. That's uh, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks, my friends. So we've got three blaze rods to do more blaze rods, please. Uh, what mechanism machine can Uberize my blaze rod production? The sag mill can give me four. That seems cool. Manufactory can also give me four. Let me get uh, two of you guys cooking in the manufactory over here. Okay. Uh, rats, Ender. Da, 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 da. Sweet. What's this? Ender Biotite Nugget. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, so then my... My lumberjack guy will also get that, right? And we're gonna want two gems of Ratlantis as a fuel source. Whee! All right, so my lumberjack can now teleport, right? So he's gonna be a lumberjack, he can teleport, he's got extra breath, and he's got a platter to carry a stack of items at a time. Because remember, he can also pick up the items that he harvests, cool? So you guys are with me. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna give up on the rat's tree farm. I mean, clearly my rat's doing a good job over here, right? And my rats over here lived pretty well, but they eventually died off. I don't know what happened to them. I mean, there's nothing that says they need food, so I hope it's nothing like that. But we'll find out. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so first off, uh, rats, okay? You're going to be in stay here mode. You're going to be my lumberjack guy. Oh yeah. So you are going to um, deposit items in the oak chest. Your home point will be here. And 
Uh, your radius uh, will be here in a nine block radius. That seems cool. All right, so you're going to uh, cut down trees in that area and deposit them into this chest. Okay, you are going to be my planter. So you've got planter and extra breath, right? You are going to take items from mini chest and you can have a home point of here and you will be bound to this position with a rat radius of three, okay? Uh, cool. And then you are Mr. Combat Dude. Hey, buddy. Uh, and you can be deposit items in oak chest here. This will be your home point. And you'll guard an area of 16 blocks around here. So a decently large area, I think. Okay. So you can be set to harvest mode. You harvest mode and you oh by the way I upgraded how cool is this I upgraded the uh, version of rats so now there's a different command between hunt animals and hunt monsters how cool is that just saying that's cool now where'd mr. Uh, teleporty guy go where'd you go buddy oh you're over there for some reason okay I mean you're welcome to chill there just just note that you have work to do Where's my watering can? Good job. Well done, little guys. Well done. So it looks like my combat rat is also helping to pick up items. But I'm down with this. I think this is working. Look at that. We're getting better at the rats mod. I'm trying to suffocate them, as you can see. See? He's not taking suffocation damage right now. That's what's up. That's what I wanted to see. Beautiful. I'm gonna call that working. Right? Good work, you guys. And they're having no problem keeping up with the uh, item drops, even though uh, I've been watering canning, which is, you know, a thing. Real quick side note, I did real fast set up a um, resources fisher from Industrial Foregoing because uh, the recipe for extra breath required a puffer fish. Uh, so, hey, <laughs> we're fishing now. Yay. I'll take it. All right, so uh, tree farm reconfigured. Hopefully the suffocation thing keeps my rats alive. I'm crossing my fingers, guys. I am crossing my fingers. Now they are in a chunk loaded chunk, which is good, right? Yes, totally in a chunk loaded chunk. Very nice. I'll give them a little extra chunk loading uh, buffer here. There you go. You know what? I'm gonna make this all chunk loaded. I might up the number of chunks I'm allowed to claim and and, and chunk load just because, like, hey, I'm on single player. It doesn't matter. But you get the point. All right. So they are working now. The other thing I did between episodes is teach my. Uh, system here how to make turrets so now technically I could add another rat here that's a combat rat upgrade that um, would defend this area and only hunt monsters rather than animals but I wanted to play with turrets so we're gonna do that instead um, so I've got my tier 5 uh, turret base and tier 5 laser turret those are auto craftable now so I taught the system how to make all the things auto craftable presuming that we have enough resources which clearly we don't but that's okay uh, but we're gonna we're gonna check this out, right? So let's get our this guy back online. Whoop. You go back in there. You go back in here. Everybody happy? Good, good, good. 
All right. No, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean for you to pick that up, but I appreciate it. All right. So clearly, clearly something came by and killed one of my sheep. Clearly that happened, right? While we were in uh, doing things mode. So let's get this thing up and running. So I'm going to pop you down. Look at you. Getting power. Nice. Laser turret. That's what's up. All right. So... This is how things go. So I'm assuming uh, this is the range, right? Uh-oh. So the good news is it's not a crash to desktop style crash. It just kicks you out of the game. It, it crashes the single player server. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? <gasps> nice. All right. So don't hit the plus button uh, if you're already at max range. I figure that's what it is. Toggle on and off modes. Attack mobs, yes. Attack neutrals, no. Attack players, no. Cool. Enter the bases. Perfect. That's what I want. Nice. Light values. Light zero, light opacity 15. I don't know what that means. Change of target should focus fire or split. I think focus fire is good. And these buttons drop it. Uh, so, I mean, I think we just leave this as is, right? Now, uh, he's got like a 25 block radius, which is perfect. And if anybody tries to come steal my sheep, nightmare mobs, we'll have some words for them. Some very strong words, thank you. I feel like, I feel like we could totally do... Like, maybe I should not just put this in a random spot, right? Let's drop turrets and drop base. And look at my little look at my little guy being so helpful. Alright, how about... Nine blocks out from the center of my pyramid is where I'm going to set this up. Nice! That is cool. I gotta say, I like I like the little pew 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 that it does. Very cool. Very very fun. Very cool. Lots of RF storage there, but that's okay. And it's not like obnoxiously loud. It's like a little pew pew pew, and we're good, right? I kind of dig it. Okay. And how are you guys doing over here? Everybody's happy and behaving. My rats look okay. They don't look like they're having any problems. Here's what I'm gonna do, hold on. I wanna encourage this Enderman over here. Hey Enderman, come here. I've got something for you. He's like, oh you're a dire wolf? What do you got? I'm like, I got a rat! Check out my buddy rat. He's gonna he's gonna show you what's up. Take him down, Archimedes. That's a super obscure reference. Nobody's gonna get that one. Uh, I'm liking it. We got a little defense going on here. Beautiful. Now, can 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 this turrets mod accept upgrades? Are there upgrades? Add-on turret concealer. Conceals turret when they aren't shooting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, damage boost. I like the I like the idea of that. Potentia converter. Adds a chance for the, and this is Recycler, adds a chance to not use ammo. Don't need that. Generate 1600 RF per redstone dust. Hmm. Enables open computers and computer craft compatibility. Generates RF in sunlight. Makes mobs killed by turrets drop loot as if a player killed them. For FXC tooltips of turrets, stacks up to four times. Upgrade accuracy. Upgrade efficiency. Fire rate. Range. And scatter shot. Neat. Now, why didn't you kill that dude? He was a bad guy. Accuracy, huh? I guess we'd want to check the accuracy on this guy. Oh, clicking the mode button is also a bad idea. All right, so to be fair, I just checked, and we're on a rather old version of this mod. I don't know if there's a reason that the mod pack maker is keeping it an older version, uh, but I might try upgrading it between episodes at some point. Active, no. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? I just turned it off, which is probably bad. Um, yeah, it's definitely bad. Thwarp. I noticed like I really couldn't hurt him much. Now I'm gonna have to turn it back on, which means I'll probably crash. Oh, nope, I didn't. Yay. All right, cool. Active yes. Cool, cool, cool. Reminder, there's a newer version of this mod, so it may it may behave itself a little bit better. Um, now, where's, where's these upgrades and add-ons? I guess I put them in here, but I'm not seeing any accuracy information. Um, 
two upgrade slots. Okay, what about the laser turret itself? I don't know enough about this mod to know what it's going to do. Range and blocks. Accuracy is high already, so I don't think I have to worry about accuracy. Projectile damage, two hearts. Okay. So if I threw two damage boost add-ons in here, that might be cool. So what's involved in making those? Red alloy block. Do we know how to make red alloy blocks yet? No, but I think we should learn. Red alloys are made with an alloy smeltery. Redstone and silicon. And I don't know if my alloy smelteries have any space left in them. So I really need to do something about that. But, you know. For now, I'll get rid of this blank pattern that does this thing. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing the laser pew pew. It's the best. Okay, so you then, um, I made a bunch of you, right? And we're going to need some electrical steel. About 10 of you. And we're going to need some pulsating crystals. Uh, about four of you, to be honest with you. Because I'm going to try for two rain, or two, two damage upgrades and see what that does for us. That sound cool? Man, I guess he's a little bit of a slow craft, ain't he? This one's cooking over here. And you have a decent speed upgrade in you, but it could always be faster. Redstone alloy. One, two. One, two. Now, do they stack in there, or how's that work? We're going to find out. I mean, I guess. I'm just not seeing anything on this screen that tells me how much damage it does. So I'm just going to leave it at that, right? I don't think we need anything for reals here. Now, did that... Oh, that's cool. I mean, his accuracy ain't bad. What's an accuracy thing look like? Great turret accuracy. That's not terrible. Dark. I should teach you how to make dark bimetal gears. Do you know how to make dark steel nuggets? You don't. So maybe I'll teach you how to make this. Teach you how to make this. Teach you how to make this, and teach you how to make this. We put all that in here, right? I'm sure some of those other upgrades are nice to have. Hey, I already have another uh, upgrade for damage. Nice. Now, it said something about stacking up to four times, didn't it? Stacks up to four times. It did indeed. I'm just going to make, like, four more of these, which, you know, shouldn't be a terrible. What else is cooking here? Nice. Yeah, let's go out there and see what, uh... What throwing five damage upgrades does? I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. Ah, I see it stacks up to four times. So guess what? I'm gonna make one more. I'm just gonna see how like powerful this thing is. Now, granted, it's about to be uh, daytime, but I'm sure I could lead some monsters over here. Come here, friends. I'd like you to meet my little friend. His name is Laser Turret. Please kill the hostile mobs. I want to see the damage number. Oh, is that 16? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Come here, you. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. You think you're cool. Let's go. Stop staring at me. See? I had to kill you myself, didn't I? Not cool.
Still, I like it. Lots of damage. That is good times. I like that. I like the laser turrets. I really like the idea of having to defend my base a little bit with turrets. I wish I, I wish there was more use for that, right? Like, because generally in Minecraft, you don't need to worry too much about monsters. They really aren't a problem more often than not. All right, real quick, real quick visit to my poor little rats. Y'all, y'all behaving out here? Theoretically, yes. Yeah, they're still alive. That's good. Like, are all of them still alive? Where's my, where's my combat dude? I, I feel like I'm missing one. And therein lies the problem. What happened to him? I don't even know. I have no idea where he went. Is he gone? I can't even tell. I feel like he is, though. I think he got hurt by, like... Like, definitely some monsters died over here? You think? I mean, he wouldn't be dumb enough to stand in cactus, would he? And just die? I don't know. I don't know if those monsters that died over there died from sunlight either, to be fair. Mm. He wouldn't generally go out this far, I don't think. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure where my where my combat rat is, which is a bit of a bummer. I don't know what happened to him. Oh well, we'll keep an eye on these two. These two are like the actual tree farm guys, right? Maybe I should put another turret out here. Can I make another turret? Like a uh, laser turret? Laser turret, yes. Turret base, I think I needed uh, Grains of Infinity and probably Glowstone, which means visiting the Nether. All right, let me get that stuff going, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and I am heading underground because doing this auto manually has been kind of a nuisance to me. So I'm going to do my best to automate this to some degree. Uh, so let's see. You guys want to behave yourself a little bit? That would be cool. Uh, let's put you here. That's looking pretty good. No, not you. Hang on. Actually, I'm going to remove the duh, like that. That looks cool. Beautiful. Uh, and then I would also like a vacuum chest, right? Super simple. That's max range. I don't think I need an item filter on it, right? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Uh, and then an ender chest, an F3G. Let's make sure we're all in the same chunk, shall we? Okay, good. Alright, so you should be lighting fires, which is good. And because of the non-flat terrain here, this might be a little bit of a hassle, but well, we should be able to make it work. As long as you can reach all these dudes. Looks like you can. I found the UI on these things doesn't update all the way, all the time, but we'll be alright. Um, can I just do this, maybe? You gonna reach? Looks like you do, serving seven tiles. There you go, serving eight tiles. Nice. Are you gonna tell me that I have to, like, punch it? Or no, is it gonna work? I mean, it looks like it's working. Is it working? Can't tell. Oh, yep, oh, oh, there we go. Now things are happening. Wow, I, my, my wireless system reaches all the way down here? That's cool. Yeah, this seems good to me. Claimed chunks. Oh, I'm actually right under my base. I never realized that. I am literally directly under my base. This area is actually already chunk loaded. That's pretty cool. All right, so you should be good now. So then ultimate logistical transporter. We're going to configure you to do nothing. We're going to configure you to extract. And then we should now be automating... Uh, the, the, the Ender I.O. stuffs. Cool. All right, then to the nether we go uh, to get ourselves some glowstone, and I'll meet you back at our base in a few minutes once I've collected a little bit of glowstone. Whee! 
And maybe some blaze rods. And maybe I should have brought a mob imprisonment tool in here. But yeah, we'll get we'll get a blaze guy later. Well, maybe I should get a mob imprisonment tool. Let me grab one because I know that we're hurting on blaze rods, right? And I'm sure we have an empty mob imprisonment tool that we can use, and that was easy enough to get. So <clears throat> I will catch a blaze for our mob spawner, and I will harvest. Go back in a few. All right, turret base tier five. Yay, we have the stuff for it. Awesome. That's a lot of auto crafting though, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, so I did a couple things real quick off camera. Uh, actually, I did a lot of things off camera. Uh, not that much though. Okay, good. This is, hey, do what now? Uh -huh oh, it's one of you dudes, huh? Little, little hostile rat action going on. Guys, please. Wow, they have a lot of health, don't they? What do we got, bow? Where is my bow? Are these dudes not taking damage from my sword? Like, what's going on here? What is up? Why are these guys basically immune to my damages? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need some stuffed aubergine, which I just made. Good times. It's not a bad recipe. Aubergine or eggplant, carrot, beetroot, and a baked potato. So that's cool. Um, where is my bow real quick? There it is. Dude, what is up with these rats? Why are they literally just immune? I got an idea. Do we have an empty mob imprisonment tool? We do. Excuse me, sir. Let me borrow you for a minute. I'm trying to figure out why these rats ain't dying. Dude, what is up? He's like an immuno rat. What is up with him? All right, I've got another plan. You live there now. <laughs> I just put them on an island. <laughs> just a random island. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, uh, so between up, uh, the, the the segment here, the last few minutes, I've done a few things. Um, I, I, I ripped up my farm. And I real quick set up um, some uh, inferior essence, the pumpkins, uh, wheat, and rubber, tr uh, rubber seeds. And then over here are the four ingredients for the stuffed aubergine. Cool. So I should be able to make a few more now. Let's see, like 10 more? No problem. Sweet. Okay. And this stuff's actually like really decent food. Like look how much saturation I get out of it. It is not bad. Um, so real simple setup here. I was gonna do the whole like rats thing. Uh, and then I realized like, I don't know, like I still don't know what happened to my rats over here, right? They, they in theory, were able to defend themselves and couldn't suffocate. So did they despawn? I don't know. But I've not had any problem with this rat. So I don't know what's up with those guys over there. So I was just hesitant to, to, to use rats uh, for the collection of items, right? When I could just use a simple vacuum chest. Like, might as well. And we'll definitely try to play more with rats and do cool things with them, for sure. Uh, do we have worms by chance? Because we do have actually additions in this pack, right? Maybe worms aren't installed. Oh, well. Uh, or disabled or something. But that's that. Um, my my seed maker over here working beautifully. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome work. Uh, and then also the thing I did for a moment real quick, just because I was just getting this up and running. Because I really want to get um, Mystical Agriculture running. I've got um, some some drawers for my essence and all the other things I'm collecting from my farm over there. Uh, in my Inferium Essence, I put a significant amount of storage upgrades in. So that should be cool. So we've got base defense going. We've got rats sorted out. We totally understand how rat words work for the most part. Except 
for the fact that the the tree farm rats, all three of them despawned, right? Like, what happened to them? I don't understand. Did they go into an unloaded area? I don't know. Like, I gave them a pretty wide berth with regards to what's chunk loaded, right? So they shouldn't have ran off into a chunk loaded area. Um, still don't know what happened to them. Kind of bugs me. I'm not sure if enemies attacked them. Like, like maybe the one despawned and then enemies killed the other two? Because it, the, it was the combat guy that died first, right? Or disappeared first, I'll say. Oh. Anyway, uh, here's the plan for next. Uh, I would like to do some exploration. So I think what I'm going to do... Uh, first off, just out of curiosity, right? Uh, if we look at Machine Muse's stuff, modular power suits... Uh, power suits? There we go. If I want a couple ion thrusters, how are we doing here? We have a lot of resources we still need to collect, right? Lots of iridium, lots of platinum. Some of these I might do seeds out of, right? And I haven't taught the system how to turn rubber seeds into rubber yet, so we'll, we'll look at doing that, and then maybe we can use that to do some things. But clearly a lot of resource collection needs to happen, so I'd like to get my miner running again at some point, um, get up a bunch of resources, start getting whatever resources I need into seeds so we can start producing those and we'll do the 10, 10, 10 thing automatically. I'd like to do exploration. I think I'd like to check out some of the dimensions that we had to play with, right? So we've got, um, we've got the nightmare dimension. Uh, I think between lands is in this. Yes. Between lands is also in here. Um, so lots of other stuff to do in this pack before we even come close to calling it done. Um, we did a bunch of modular turret things, but I guess because I never made uh, the, the base tier of it, I don't get any credit for that. Wah, wah, wah. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, impending darkness. Three lanterns. There's there's some quests that I totally haven't done. And I'd love to have access to, like, emeralds and diamond stuffs, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Nether star, huh? And that gets me... Okay. That's a weird... That's a weird hand-in right there. But I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, we have, um, Batania's in this pack, right? Yep, we still have Batania to do, we still have Actual Sorcery to do. Lots and lots of stuff left to, to play with in here and get up and running. But for now, I feel like we have a pretty well-established base. Auto-crafting is working, we can generate resources as needed with mystical agriculture, so if we're low on anything, we can easily spin up seeds to produce lots of them. Uh, and as a reminder, the growth ticks thing works really well. So once we get more and more uh, resources, we can create more and more growth accelerators and we can put them all underneath the farm down there. And that would be super cool. Um, not to mention, if we got actual sorcery going, we could have a ritual that does growth. So like lots that we could do with mystical agriculture to produce a lot of resources. Anyway, for now, I'm going to call this wrapping up point for the episode. So Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy.